When I was a little kid, my mother used to tell me a story that I would like to share with you. And it goes more or less like this. Once upon a time, there were two friends who were on a long journey. They had been walking for many, many days, and they were kind of tired. But they knew they still had a long way to go. So they kept walking day after day. And one day, after they went all the way up to a mountain, and they sat to rest, the sky turned dark and it started to rain. And the rain turned into a windy storm. And in the wind, there was a voice with a message for them. The voice told them, take with you as many pebbles as you can carry in your pockets. And tomorrow, you will be happy and sad at the same time. And after the voice said that, the rain stopped and the sky cleared up again. And the friends realized they don't know what this message meant. So they talked to each other and said, carrying pebbles with us? How many? Pebbles are heavy and we are already tired and we still have a long way to go. Nevertheless, they took some pebbles and put them in their pockets. And later that night, they went to sleep on the side of the road. And on the next day, when they reached into their pockets, the pebbles were not there anymore. Instead of the pebbles, their pockets were full of gemstones. Diamonds, sapphires, green emeralds, and the most beautiful red rubies that they had seen in their lives. And they realized they are rich now, and because of these gemstones, they will never have to work again, and they can spend their lives doing what they most enjoy. And the friends look at each other and feel happy. And they feel happy and sad at the same time. Happy because of all the gemstones they now had. And sad because of all the pebbles they didn't pick up. <laughs> when I was a little kid, I used to like this story a lot. I just found it funny that there's a situation in which somebody can be happy and sad at the same time. So I often ask my mom if she can tell me this story again. But then I grew up, and at some point, I understood the real meaning of this story. And since that moment, I have liked this story even more. And since that moment, I have tried to pick up as many pebbles as I can carry in my pockets. Maybe for some of you, it's already clear what this story is about, but I'm going to explain it. Many years ago, I picked up a pebble that I found on the road. There were already some pebbles in my pockets, and they were kind of heavy. But I could only think of this voice in the wind saying to me, take with you as many pebbles as you can carry. You see, in that moment, I was still living in Mexico City. I was studying physics at the university, and that alone was hard enough. And I was also living far away from the university, so I would have to wake up really early, and normally, I would come back to my home really late. And then I picked up another pebble. And this pebble was the opportunity to start taking German lessons. These German lessons added two extra hours to every day. And it was kind of hard. And many times, I thought I was going just to give up and throw this pebble away. But I didn't. And it is thanks to that pebble that I am here today speaking in front of you, and doing a PhD in Berlin. This pebble has had such a big impact in my life that I still get surprised by it sometimes. Thanks to this pebble, I decided to make a backpack trip with one of my best friends through Europe. I moved to Berlin. I got to learn a new culture. I learned how to sail. And also, at some point, some German friends asked me if I would like to give a speech for the anniversary of an academic association. And I thought, if they allow me to speak in front of people, then surely my German can't be that bad. <laughs> and in that moment, I realized that my pebble had turned into a beautiful gemstone. So as you can see, this story is not about pebbles 
and gemstones and becoming rich. What about our lives and the opportunities and experiences that we find in our lives? Take advantage of these opportunities. Leave the experiences that life plays in your road. And tomorrow you will be happy. You will be happy to look back and realize that the story of your life is decorated with colorful gemstones and precious stones. You will be happy about your life because you made the most out of it. Learning a new language, it sounds hard. You're going to have to invest some time and sometimes you will be frustrated due to the fact that you will always make small mistakes. Taking the guitar that has been in the corner of your house for many, many years and actually learning how to play it, well, you're going to have to use some time and every day for many, many days until you actually can play it. But someday, all your efforts will be rewarded and your pockets will be filled with the most colorful gemstones and precious stones. There will be another pebbles which seem to be a little bit heavier. You will have to make a, an internal commitment and gather some mental strength that stops you from quitting when things get rough. Maybe you broke contact with a friend or a family member at some point because you had a fight. Well, if this person is important for you, maybe you can pick the pebble up, carry it a little bit, call them that person on the phone and let them know that they're important for you. And maybe they will help you to carry the pebble together until it's a gemstone again. Or maybe you have had the feeling that you could help your society a little bit more. Maybe by doing volunteer work in a retirement house or helping homeless people. Well, it's not going to be the easiest thing to do, but it's a pebble you can pick up. So do it. Make that experience. Learn from it. Watch it turn into a gemstone. And at the beginning, you might be afraid of making new experience. You might not want to leave your comfort zone, or you might not want to take a risk because you don't know where this situation will take you in your life. You might even be afraid of your own greatness. But I want to urge you to seize an opportunity the moment it arises. Don't let it pass. Opportunities that are not taken will haunt you forever. You will never know how a situation might have changed your life. And if it doesn't turn out the way you hoped, at least you would know. How would my life be today if I hadn't taken German lessons? If I hadn't gone on that plane that took me to Berlin? I can remember very well a situation from last year where I picked the pebble up and I was afraid. I, I don't remember how, but I signed for participating in a science slam, which is basically going up on a stage and trying to explain your PhD topic to a public. You have to explain it in a simple way, and if you can make it funny, it's even better. So a science slam is basically then a mixture of science communication and stand-up comedy. And if this doesn't sound hard enough, it, I would also have to do it in German. <laughs> and so as you can see, there are many things from this situation that cannot be combined really easy, like science and communication, or uh, science and comedy, or for example, comedy and the German language. <laughs> <laughs> and I can remember very well, the first science slam where I was going to participate, I was really nervous and my hands started to sweat. And I couldn't hear really well, and also my vision went into this like tunnel mode, where you means that you're like really concentrated in what you're about to do. And I even went up on the stage before the presenter had said my name, and then I realized I made a mistake, so I went off the stage again, and I was like completely confused. And this was because my brain was thinking of all the things that could go wrong the moment I went up on stage. I could go on stage and become paralyzed. Or maybe because of the nervousness, I was not going to pronounce the words well, so nobody would understand what I was, going to, what I was saying. Or maybe nobody would laugh about my jokes. 
Maybe they would even boo me down the stage. Or also, what would happen if I go up on stage and faint? <laughs> and I mean, come on, this last one is just an irrational fear. I, I'm not going to faint. I have never fainted in my life. But for some reason, when I'm nervous, I think I could faint. <laughs> but also from all the gemstones that I have collected in my life, I had the feeling that this situation would end up all right. And after the first I slam, everything was okay again. I mean, I didn't win, but at least I didn't faint. <laughs> and people laughed about my jokes, which was nice. And a few people know about this, but in that moment in my life, I was, having, I was having a difficult time. I had already been five years away from my home and my family, and I was starting my PhD, and I was also going through a small emotional breakdown. And sometimes, when these kind of things happen all at once, you have the feeling you just want to run away and run fast. Forget the problems and start a new life somewhere else. And that's not bad. Starting from scratch is also always a possibility. But I wanted to overcome my fear and turn into a new and better person. So I overcame my fear and made it through the science slam. And these science slams were the small thing in my life that kept me going and giving me a little bit of trust in myself. So as you can see, this pebble not only turned into a gemstone, but it also showed me an important lesson for my life. It showed me that everything is going to be okay after a crisis. And then a couple months ago, I picked up another pebble that I found on the road. I found out that I could apply for giving a talk here today. And I knew it was not going to be easy to prepare a speech like this and go up on stage and tell you about my life and the stories that my mom used to tell me when I was a little kid. But I also knew one thing. Tomorrow, I'm going to be happy or sad because of this pebble. But today, I can decide whether I will be happy or sad. And picking up the pebbles is my philosophy of life. And I like to stay true to it. So I applied, and I am here today, turning a pebble into a gemstone with the help of all of you. And I'm almost at the end of my talk. And I hope you like the story. And I also hope that you follow the advice of the voice in the wind. That you take advantage of all the opportunities and experiences that you find in your lives. And that's why today, I would like to be the voice in the wind for all of you and tell you once again, take with you as many pebbles as you can carry in your pockets. Be curious, be enduring. Take a risk and see what life has to offer. One day you will proudly look back at all the achievements, the experiences, the people, the friendships, and the knowledge that make up the colorful and beautiful picture of your life. Thank you very much.